A very warm welcome, Guy, and thank you for joining us today. Ollie, great to see you. Great to be here. Thank you. It would be great if you could start by explaining to our viewers who Tide are and what your mission is. Yeah. Um, so Tide is a business services platform, and we serve SMEs, B2B businesses exclusively. And our mission is, is to provide robust services for that sector of the economy, which traditionally hasn't had access to those services. So let me give you an example. If you're a large bank here in the UK, and you know those institutions do a phenomenal job, but traditionally they haven't focused on the long tail. And there's a lot of reasons for that that we could go into. Um, and what they're also doing is they're going to prioritize their larger customers. So the services that they build and the services that they provide typically fit much better for a larger, larger customer. Or if you are a small business, you can get access to those services, but the, the cost to access those services is typically extremely high because you don't have a high enough balance in your account to do that. So at Tide, we understand that. We understand that those small businesses are the lifeblood of an economy. And we get that, and we're singularly focused on providing a current account, expense management, accountancy, all of those type of services which those businesses would normally be locked out of being able to get, either through cost or just simply not available. And so for Tide, you know, by us serving that sector of the economy, that being our mission to provide a truly great service for that sector, it's, it's incredibly humbling because you're servicing folks that normally don't have those services, or you're servicing businesses that normally don't even have access to it. So let me give you an example of that. Um, there are businesses in the UK that, you know, if you go to a traditional bank, uh, you might, might take you three, four, five, six, eight weeks to get that bank account open. You can come to Tide and we can open your bank account. We can do your company house filing for you. So we've automated, we've brought a really intense digital DNA to those services so that we can provide you services that normally you wouldn't have access to. Yeah, amazing. And members are obviously hugely important to Tide. How are they faring in the current economic climate? Yeah, so the, the members of Tide that we serve, that sector of the economy is typically, it's, it's the first to get hit, but it's also the first to recover correspondingly. And for, if we talk about just the UK, um, the, the members here, there was a massive hit in lockdown, in, in COVID, that we all went through. Tide, we really rallied to support that. Our model, our economic model for how we monetize the business is really based upon a very solid foundation based on unit economics that takes that whole life cycle into account. And so we really, really serve that, that sector of the economy well. I think what's important for us is growth. Right? I think that that's what's really important. So as long as the economy is moving in a direction where it's correcting itself and then moving towards growth, Tide naturally will benefit from that. And then we're going to be there to serve our members as the economy grows. Yeah. It's great to hear Tide and your members thriving. We've obviously been working together as two organizations for quite a while now. Uh, talk to the viewers around how that partnership's grown and developed over the past few years. On the technology side with the AWS technology, we basically have, you know, when I came, there was nothing in microservices architecture, Ali, as you yeah. know, <laughs> and we now have 190 services running in, in our target architecture. Additionally, we've expanded globally. So we now have the Tide platform is live now in India. We're basically in the process of adding members in India. Um, I think that as critical mass as the business grows in size and shape and as we've been successful, we've taken the money that we have and we've reinvested it massively in terms of the number of services, the availability, the reliability, the continuity of the platform. Um, I'm really proud of how much we've accomplished in that regard, Ali. You know, when I came, to Tide three and a half years ago, we had a we, it was a struggle to keep the platform up and available. Uh, now, you know, we in in terms of the core platform, it's really quite excellent. Metrics are close to four nines for things like login, and 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 we really feel like we can provide that continuity to our members. So when they go to file their taxes at year end, the platform's up. It's reliable. It's fast. The service is is really really robust. Yeah, it's great to hear. And we've done a lot of work together over the sort of past 12 months to enable Tide's product to go global. Uh, can you talk to us a bit about that journey? Yeah, so I think, you know, I think if you think about web services, 
and you think about cloud services and you think about AWS and um, you know, Google and you think about GPC and you think about Azure, there's a lot of companies that I think have a mentality previously or they have a mentality now where they want to build those services and they want, us, they want those services to be cloud neutral. In other words, the idea is you could use something like Kubernetes and you could build your services in an agnostic way and you could move the compute between platforms. At Tide, our strategy is to basically go vertical and to embed with AWS. The reason why is we don't want to take that head, that cost of being able to support those services on these other platforms. We want to double down the investment in AWS because then that's money and time that we can give back to our members in building products and features for the Tide platform. So we don't have any problem with that, right? I think, I think that's one big distinction. And the reason why that's helped us in terms of global expansion is we've been able to articulate that vision and our, uh, articulate that strategy with AWS. And so AWS has been able to help us to open up those new markets. The Mumbai zone was complicated because, you know, there's a, a specific contract that needed to be put in place for fintechs operating there. It's not just a standard AWS agreement. And so having a partnership like AWS to facilitate that as we continue to invest and roll out in, 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 in the UK and also in Europe and also in India, it's critically important because it's less that we have to, have to work on. The other factor there that I think is really important is us a unit economics because we're so focused on unit economics because we want a business model that's sustainable. We want to be here for the long haul. We're building a hell of a successful business and we need to be there for our members, right? We need to be there for the, those, those. And so we've aligned with AWS in regards to the cost and the transparency on cost. And I think AWS has done a remarkably good job about partnering with us to find out how to provide the services in a very cost effective manner. Um, I think that's really, really been a key ingredient of us being, moving forward. Guy, tell me about Tide's workforce. Where are they located and how do they work with AWS today? The engineering culture at Tide, again, if you play back Ollie three and a half years ago, I think we were traditional you know, startup mentality, right? How to basically really kind of just keep things up and try to provide enough value for our members. I think we're leaps and bounds. And I think in a lot of ways, our engineering community, we've started to enter some just really high competencies in terms of performance. The engineering centers that Tide has for the Tide engineers that make it all happen, and also product, right? Product and engineering being together, are Hyderabad, Hyderabad, India, uh, Sofia, Bulgaria, and then also London. And so those are our three primary locations. And um, you know, it's it's really really great. And it's uh, those those that workforce in terms of an engineer or an engineering team being able to literally code in the morning and deploy in the afternoon in prod with feature toggles. Ah, it's just, it's, just, it's just phenomenal. It's just really, really great. And I can't say enough about how proud I am personally of the engineering community and the engineers and the product people that, we've, that we have at Tide. Uh, they're exceptionally, they're 100% focused on those member outcomes and really supporting the mission of Tide of serving SMEs. Yeah, it's amazing. And I'm personally very excited to get out to some of those locations and run some immersion days and game days uh, with the teams. So yeah, really excited about that. Cool. It's great to see that you're always innovating on behalf of your members. And I saw some exciting news recently about your acquisition of funding options. What does this mean for your customers? Yeah, a couple things. Um, I think in terms of Tide and our, our development as a business, uh, we've got one acquisition under our belt. Uh, really humbled that we were able to partner and work with funding options and bring them on board. We feel it's a phenomenal partnership and we're looking forward to it. The benefit for our members is that our members themselves are going to have access to more options in terms of credit. Mm -hmm. So if you're a small business owner in the UK and you're looking at, for credit, credit-based credit offerings, you know, Tide, we provide those. But with the addition of funding options, it's just a whole new ball game. It's a, it's a new league for us. And we're really excited about being able to offer those services for our members. And we're really excited about funding options. I mean, they're, they're a cloud native, AWS based partner as well. And bringing them into Tide, we think it's extremely complimentary and really, really a great move for us as a business.
Keeping that focus on the future, what's in store for Tide members going forward? Yeah, so for Tide members specifically, uh, we're going to continue to do the basics really well, right? I think that's really fundamentally important. I think also we're going to continue to invest in machine learning, right? Because the machine learning for us is, I think there's a really important distinction. I'm not talking about AI. We're talking about machine learning because we believe that we can use machine learning to basically make tasks that are hard easier. Mm -hmm. So whether that's something along the lines of matching expense codes or whether that's something along the lines of doing accountancy, you know, there's, there's, there's some really good basics there. So we're going to continue. So for us, one of the key metrics is giving time back to our members. So we look at that constantly where we're trying to figure out how to take those mundane tasks that are taking time away from a small business owner of running their business, uh, how to basically provide better services that can take the time out of that so they can run their business and we can take care of those, those things for, for that member and for that business. And what role do you see AWS playing in this plan? In terms of AWS, I mean, I think that in terms of the relationship, we've, we've really aligned on the roadmap and the product and the services that AWS is building. And, and, we, and we're continuing to look at that and to expand it. So I think that, that, that's, that's the primary. The secondary consideration for us is, uh, when we look at AWS, is, is doing more vertically with AWS. And then the third thing is just, you know, keeping ourselves honest about what we should be doing on the technology front and you know, like you know, us moving fully to Kubernetes, you know, doing that with the Kubernetes supported from AWS was really critical. That was a really critical step for us. We felt early on that when we were just had the business in the UK, ECS was adequate for that, right? Yeah. And it was. Um, but then, as we talk about global expansion, we talk about one platform. I think it's a very different consideration. I think the one platform consideration is really important because. Tide's technology and the technology stack is the same. So if we're deployed in AWS Frankfurt or we're deployed in AWS Mumbai or we're deployed in AWS London, it's all the same platform. And those development pipelines are all the same. So we really rely upon AWS in terms of helping enable that as we go forward and just provide that continuity. Yeah. I, I think one, one really key thing for me in regards to the AWS relationship is that it's a very deep relationship. It's really embedded. We're extremely happy with it. But for me, as the CTO of Tide, I don't need to worry about AWS, yeah. right? I don't have to worry about alignment with AWS. AWS is like in our corner. They've got our back. They're helping enable the business. It's something I just don't need to worry about. It's, it's when I look at the strategy and I look at our partnerships, I can say, okay, I've got AWS. I can give Ali a call. I can get access to whomever I need in AWS. If we need to have a talk, if we need to double click, you know, really figure out something, we've just got AWS there as a partner. And I think that that can't be underestimated. I think a lot of times people get caught up in optionality and variability and maybe focus too much on cost. I think we have a bit more of a holistic view in terms of the relationship and and how we can basically really tease out a strategic partnership with AWS. Yeah, we can leave that yeah. for another day. <laughs> well, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here today. Um, really looking forward to working with you and uh, being successful for your members. Great to be here.